the charismatic enigma. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs, Jeff Hardy Collection. Now these figures that you see here, yes, we've reviewed all of them, we've gotten in-depth reviews, even on the customs, even those old figures that we had made prior to Mattel releasing these. And I, I have to say, <laughs> this is cool. My favorite thing about these Jeff Hardys is that if you buy multiple figures of the same figure, you can get different attires. I mean, I know we've gotten a chance to show the custom fix a video on this. This is prime example right here, right? So what we did, we took the Elite Series 57, shirtless Jeff, we put on, we put it onto the epic moments, no, not the epic moments, sorry, entrance greats, and yes, Jeff Hardy has worn this on so many different occasions, it's a very good possibility, we'll get a release of this figure here, this exact same attire, same head scan in the near future, but for me, you guys know, man, I lack patience, and that's kind of why I pulled the trigger on that final production, this right here, did it do the trick, oh, for sure, I mean, at least for me, this definitely filled in that void, until we finally got Right? The very first Jeff Hardy entrance grades. Well, technically, this was supposed to be it, right? Elite Series 1, but did they kill it? For sure. They had nothing but time to get this figure right. You look at the head scan on these right here. I mean, they went all out with the detail on this one. There's a lot that this that this one's missing. Yeah, this one is missing a few things, but overall, the overall figure, and as far as accuracy too, this is basically how he wore the attire. This is more fantasy more than anything. He's worn the purple and the green sleeves with the green belt, but he never wore it with the face paint right so it is nice to finally get this and i'm sure a lot of collectors anybody that has picked up this figure you guys know exactly how you <laughs> you know how i feel about that figure now next up um we also did it with one of my old customs prior to mattel releasing uh the well, yes, Elite Series 57. Well, actually, this is the same one from Entrance Grades. So really, you could use either or. You could either use the Entrance Grades or the, um, or not, no, sorry, not the Entrance Grades. Either the Epic Moments or Elite Series 57. This right here, the body that you're seeing, this is one of my old customs. I think this was either a Dean Ambrose or a Seth Rollins. So I took the head, or I'll show you. This is basically the remaining parts of it. I used to be a big fan of this uh, Titantron Live head scan, but this is just terrible. <laughs> looking comparing this to this oh man like what what like what is he doing like did, did man just pinch one or is he far what's he doing like so what i did is that i took the arms i took the lower legs and we got a custom team extreme hardy boys jeff hardy right so yeah if you if you didn't see the fix up video on this this is nice uh this is one this is a very important attire that we needed for the jeff hardy collection also um an old custom this is the, whoops, of course they're going to fall. <laughs> are you kidding me? There's absolutely no way that these figures are going to stand during an entire video, right? It's just one of the things that has to happen in a collection video. This is uh, 2009, was it Royal Rumble? Or yes, it was 2009 Royal Rumble. This is when he lost the belt. Why would you make a custom of when he lost the belt? I don't know, man. It's like the face paint, it's different from the rest. So it's still nice to have this, you know, part of the collection. But if you were to ask me what my, oh, and I'll tell you. I'll definitely show you which one is my favorite figure. Um. Not the epic moments, but I'm, this is just an early prediction. An early 2008 prediction. This is definitely going to be the epic moments figure, uh, like for, at least for the set, uh, the Matt and Jeff Hardy. This is There's going to be multiple fi or series released in this wave of the epic moments, but I, I'm going to say this is probably the best one for 2000. I know it's an early prediction, and I know there's a whole year ahead of us, but what they did with this figure, they totally killed it. I mean, yeah, they painted over the tank top and just called it a day, but the fact that we got the debut when they made their first return to WWE, plus the tag titles, plus all those ladders, but if you were to ask me, and I think that just pretty much sums it up. Which one is your favorite Jeff Hardy, right? Lead Series 57, Shirtless Jeff. Why, Hero Figs? Well, I'll tell you why, right? I mean, Jeff Hardy, this is basically like the celebrate At the end of every match, well, big matches at least, the man's always taking off his shirt. The fact that, like, we're getting that, I mean, you could utilize this. If you remove some of the tattoos, you could technically utilize this for different eras, whether it's attitude, ruthless aggression, but again, you'd have to mess around with the logo design. It's just, for me, the reason why I love this figure so much is the detail, the time that they spent to capture everything about. There's, again, under the armpit, right, minor tattoos that it's missing, but the fact that they just went all out and they added all this to the figure, this is just, this technically should have been the epic moment, right? <laughs> Because this is what ended up happening at the end of the match anyways. Right before he jumped off that 20-foot ladder. So again, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button. I can't wait to see what we're going to get. Because, I mean, this is definitely going to be the year of the Hardys. Until next time, everybody.